Aloha! Uh, for this virtual lesson plan, I wanted to focus on giving you some fun facts about the natural history of Hawaiian monk seals and the laws and guidelines that apply to all of us here in the United States um, about endangered animals, especially endangered marine mammals. So, Hawaiian monk seals are a marine mammal. This means that they breathe air and not water. They're warm-blooded, not cool-blooded. Um, they have fur, they give live birth, and they nurse their young. And Hawaiian monk seals are a marine mammal, but they're also an endangered marine mammal. And they're endangered because their total population size is estimated to be between 1,300 and 1,400 individuals. And this is not a significant amount for an animal that used to have such a large population size that spanned across the entire Hawaiian island archipelago. So Hawaiian monk seals are pinnipeds, which is a category that falls under marine mammals that includes seals and sea lions. Sea lions' special name is odoraids, whereas seals are phocids. So Hawaiian monk seals are a phocid, um, and that's because they have internal ear flaps and because they can't walk very easily on their hind flippers. Hawaiian monk seals, unlike um, a sea lion, like the California sea lion, are solitary animals, which means that you're not going to find them in large groups where they're touching. And while our volunteers and other people within HMR have seen Hawaiian monk seals maybe in groups and not alone, that it's not a very common occurrence and they're usually uh, not found in those large groups. Hawaiian monk seals are endemic and native to the Hawaiian Islands, meaning that they occur nowhere else on Earth. And if they go extinct in this area, then they won't be existent anywhere else in the world. But they also play a really vital role in the health of the ocean ecosystem, especially the food chain as a top predator and as a sentinel species that gives us warnings about changes that are going on in the ocean. Hawaiian monk seals' Hawaiian name is known as Ilio Holo Ika Ua Ua, which directly translates to dog running through the rough seas. And um, Hawaiian monk seals play a very important role, not only in the health of the ocean ecosystem, but also in Hawaiian culture. Hawaiian monk seals can live to be about 30 years, although they can live older, but it's not very common. Similarly, females can start to nurse their young between four and five years of age, although it's not very common and they usually wait till a little later on. And that just means that once they do start pupping, we wanted to make sure that we're taking very close, detailed observations of the entire process, especially if it's a female that hasn't birthed its young before. Hawaiian monk seals are about six to seven feet long, which is larger than your average human and they can weigh anywhere from four to six hundred pounds, especially if it's a female that's pregnant. Um, monk seals are not sexually dimorphic, which means that males and females can be roughly about the same size, of course, unless you have a pregnant female. But nonetheless, when a pup is born, it'll come out looking jet black, and it's not until it's a juvenile or becomes a sub-adult where it becomes the gray, shiny, silvery layer. The pelage is a term used to describe the outer layer of the skin and fur, and monk seals go through a catastrophic molt once per year. You might see a monk seal that appears green on the beaches, but that's because it's approaching its time to get ready to molt. And when it does molt, it'll shed the entire outer layer of its skin and fur and reveal a shiny silvery coat underneath. We often get reports that monk seals are sick during this time, although this is a completely natural behavior that occurs and there's not usually an indication that anything is wrong, although we do like to monitor the process of molting just to make sure that everything goes smoothly. The hind flippers on a monk seal are where our partners at NOAA will put the tags on the animal and that's where we'll look when we go to look to identify the monk seal. You can check out our other video that's posted to figure out exactly how we do a health check on the beaches of a Hawaiian monk seal. The front flippers can be used for steering during swimming. Hawaiian monk seals also have whiskers or vibrissae, which is a type of sensory addition that helps them gather information around their surroundings, especially while they're underwater. You can see that um, on domestic animals, like cats or dogs, their whiskers help them um, sense what's going on around them. It's the same case for Hawaiian monk seals. Hawaiian monk seals spend about two-thirds of their time in the ocean and one-third of their time on land. And while they're in the ocean, they can be doing a variety of different activities. They can dive up to 1,800 feet, although their dives end up usually being 300 feet or less. They can also hold their breath 
for up to 20 minutes, although when they're foraging, they tend to take breaths more frequently. And when they are foraging, they can eat up to 15 pounds of food per day. Hawaiian monk seals are generalist feeders, which means that they eat the prey that's available. And for Hawaiian monk seals, this often ends up being crustaceans like lobsters, crab, um, shrimp, but also can be something like squid or eels. Hawaiian monk seals forage on the benthic environment, which is the ocean seafloor, and they tend to prefer prey that's hidden under rocks or in the sand as opposed to open ocean fish, maybe like tuna. Like I said, Hawaiian monk seals spend about one third of their time on the beaches, and when they're coming up on the beaches, it's because they need to rest. This is why HMR personnel go above and beyond to make sure that everyone is giving respectful viewing distances to Hawaiian monk seals when they end up on the same beach as them. Hawaiian monk seals need that time to rest so that they can go and forage for that 15 pounds of food that they eat every single day. Hawaiian monk seals are protected under the Endangered Species Act and under the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which means that anyone who causes a disturbance or a harassment or with an intent to injure, harm, or kill one of these animals can be subject to federal fines. And this is why we want to make sure that everybody is educated on the guidelines and the laws surrounding these, these precious species. What you can do is if you find a Hawaiian monk seal on the beach is make sure to stay at least 50 feet away. If that monk seal has a pup, we want you to triple that distance to be 150 feet away. And while not everyone is good with their exact distances, we have a good rule of thumb that you can use. If you put your thumb out in front of you like this and you can cover the monk seal with your thumb, you're far enough away. And you can apply this anywhere on any of the beaches around all of the islands of Hawaii and you'll make sure that you're far enough away from a Hawaiian monk seal to never disturb it or harass it and make sure it's getting that important energy rest that it needs so that it can go back into the ocean and forage the next time.